Well, he's accused of being too tough on players. Shenandoah's men's varsity lacrosse coach, Chuck Holohan, is suspended with pay tonight after being accused of being verbally abusive toward his players. And he is not the first to catch heat for this lately. On the college level, Rutgers University recently fired its men's basketball coach after a video surfaced showing him berating players using slurs and also even getting physical. Matt Markham is live in Clifton Park tonight with uh, more on Holohan's situation and really the bigger picture here when it comes to the way that student athletes are treated. Matt? Good evening, Dory. I understand, according to the athletic director, that Mr. Hollihan was in pretty good standing with the district here and with his team, having a pretty good record over the six years that he served as head coach. Uh, but students were interviewed this week individually after claims of abuse came into the school district, and the district must now decide Mr. Hollihan will come back on this field behind me. There was no any at any point was any kid ever in danger or anything ever got to the point where a uh, you know a student athlete was in harm's way. But students did go to their parents with concerns that Chuck Hollihan's comments to varsity lacrosse players was abusive in nature. I think there were comments that the coach made that probably um, went across the line. Uh, you know, comments I think uh, Coach Holohan felt were, you know, trying to motivate his team, but ultimately I think were probably not necessarily appropriate. After students were sat down and questioned, Holohan was suspended with pay. With his employment now on the line, we went to Holohan's home to ask for his thoughts, but no one came to the door. He's very upset. I think he recognizes that, um, you know, you know, some of the things that he said probably crossed the line. I think he would like the opportunity, to, you know, to take it back. Uh, unfortunately, there's that opportunity doesn't present itself. So it's really figuring out what's best for our kids and our student athletes. This did not come at a good time for Shen or any other team. Rutgers just lost its basketball coach for abuse. The state public high schools athletic association says coaches must remember the leadership role they hold hold on the field and in young lives. The lessons that students are learning in the classroom are going to be lessons that are taught out on the field or the court or wherever it may be. It's, you know, how to become a productive citizen in society, whether it's hard work, whether it's integrity, honesty, um, dedication. Jason Gifford is the assistant coach. He has been named interim head coach here. He was with the program for the last five years. Uh, he led the team today in the varsity lacrosse game against Saratoga. That was right here at Shen. As for Mr. Hollihan, the district will have to decide his fate now. They will likely do that by the end of the day tomorrow. There is another game on Saturday. Uh, those options could be either termination or counseling. We're live in Clifton Park. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.